Hey guys, how are you doing? So, anyways, today is, um, a subscriber actually asked me, uh, how long can I put my legs behind my head? Or how far down my back? Or over my shoulder can I put it behind my head? So, uh, this video will just be showing you how far I can actually do it, my normal, my minimum, and my maximums, and some of the conditions that are required for me to actually go that far. Alright, so for my minimum or average, or um, that's what I like to call it, for when I'm just kind of showing off to my friends, or just kind of so showing them that I could do it without having to do much effort, I just lean my head in, and I just kind of put it over my head, just, I, just as I showed you in the tutorial. Um, it's really simple, and uh, yeah, um, my leg will kind of be facing upwards, as in, it kind of, my foot's pointing upwards. Now, for... Um, when, for, if it goes, if I want to go really far, to go, to put more pressure on it, then what I do is, I start off like that, except to then, I keep my back straight and my head up. And this is actually a lot more difficult than you'd think, because, um, it seems that your leg kind of bends a little bit more, and it puts more strain on other muscles on your body, if you're actually bending yourself back so your your body is straight. Now, for my maximum, now, let's say for my maximum, I'm trying to put my leg all the way as far to one direction as possible, uh, no reference to the band. Um, I'm going to actually, instead of putting my leg behind, my, my foot behind my head, I'll actually place my knee behind my head. And this actually puts a lot of strain around my neck, as you can tell by my voice. Um, it bends my head inwards a lot, and it hurts a lot, so I tend not to do it. And if I'm doing this, I try not to do it as often as possible, just because, again, it puts so much strain on my body. And I, I won't even think about just trying to sit up straight. <laughs> so, um, how far down my back? Oh, I might as well show you a back shot of what it looks like if I put it behind my knee behind my head okay so now I'll be showing you how far I can bring my foot down behind my back I actually haven't tested this out yet so this will be a new experience to me but I'm hoping it will go well um, I don't think it can, can go too far down my back because I'm more used to it going to the other direction. Um, so let's go find out. So I just put it on my shoulder and I'll try to bring my elbow in the front of it and push it down. And as you can see, I can't really move it down my back as much. I can maybe move it a little bit to the backbone, but um, that's pretty much as far as it can go. And now all these variations I showed you, I've only done it with one leg, but, well because if I were to do it with two legs, it would really constrict my body and I wouldn't be able to show you the variations as much, but for two legs there is one variation I could possibly show you. Actually, I'll do it right now. So, this one you've seen in one of my videos, probably. Um, it's basically where I put both of my legs behind my head, but instead I bring both of my knees behind my head, actually. And again, it does put a lot of strain on my body. So. I have to lay down my back first, just because it's so much easier. And that's essentially how far it can go. So guys, if you like the video, be sure to rate the video and comment on what you'd like to see in the future. Alright, bye.